guys, and welcome back to the Love Connection with me, Taj B, your international matchmaker and relationship consultant. Happy Friday, guys, but we are here to talk about surviving a breakup. So let's jump right into it. First of all, the breakup didn't just randomly happen, okay? You know how you got here. You know what's going on. You know what's up. And even if you don't know how you got here and it just randomly popped up on you, you're better off without that person in your life, right? So breakups happen. They happen to you, but they're a gradual process, so don't act so surprised. <laughs> Next thing, you will survive, my friend. Even though the breakup seems like the end of the world, like, oh, you're going to die, like nothing good will ever happen to you again in this life, nobody wants you, whatever you feel like, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you will survive. Our heart, it keeps on beating even if we don't want it to. Even if we feel like you should stop now, heart, don't worry, the heart never listens and it just keeps on ticking. So you will survive whether you believe that or not. So just get that in your head and ease up yourself. Next thing, you need to be honest about what went wrong in the relationship. Like as a couples therapist, I find when couples come to me after they've broken up or things aren't going right, they kind of have a misconstrued idea as to why their relationship did not work. You know, like one party will be saying, okay, for instance, I've had this happen with a couple where they were breaking up and the man thought that they were breaking up because they weren't able to afford a house together. But the woman, they were breaking up because the woman found that he himself was incompatible with her because he wasn't interested in going out and doing anything other than the home life stuff. So they had two different ideas as to why the breakup happened. So you need, and if the man had been being honest with himself, then he would see that was the reason and not, not the buying about the house. You understand guys? So for your own self, sit down and be honest with yourself as to how did we reach in this position? How am I part of a breakup now? Why did I have to leave my partner? Why did my partner leave me? And you find that the honesty kind of helps you better deal with the situation at hand. And if you need healthy closure, you should seek it. So I put healthy closure to be clear with you guys. Not just if you need closure of any kind, you should go and seek it, no. Like if you've been knocking her door a hundred times asking her, you know, Andrew, why don't you want me? Like, you know what I mean? You're not going to get no closure from that. Move on with your life. But if you want healthy closure, such as we spend so much time together, I want to know where exactly you fell out of love with me. You know, that's sort of healthy closure right there. Or you want to understand um, why this person had chosen to hurt you in this way. That's healthy closure right there. So if you're looking healthy closure, if you need that, then you should go and seek it. See, sometimes people really hurt us in the relationship. Like they've really dissed, you know what I mean? Like they've gone really far. And when that happens, you should not be worried about seeking closure. You should just accept that you were with not a person, not a human, but a demon, and they have acted in a, a terrible way. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Because you guys know, it's just, you cannot allow people to go around treating others in a non-humane way. And sometimes when they do that, you're not going to get a humane response from them. You're not going to get to hear why they did it or what's their reasoning. Because you know what, guys? Let me tell you, let you guys in on a little secret. The worst of us tend to not have any reasoning behind their actions, none at all, especially when it's negative actions that are affecting other people other than themselves. I know, shocking, right? They're doing the deed, then they can't answer for it. But surprise, surprise, there is no surprise. <laughs> Next, you need to know what the difference is, like I said, between healthy and unhealthy closure. Stalking your ex, unhealthy closure, you know? Bombarding them with messages and emails, unhealthy closure you know spreading rumors about them in the like in the hopes that they will hear the rumors and come back to confront you unhealthy closure okay trying to get stuff okay like for instance you broke up and you're insisting that they give you back your foil paper come on okay like you know this is not about the foil paper you know that this is about just getting to see them again be in their space talk to them and harass them you don't care nothing about that stuff. Or you want to go get some busted old shoes that you had from the early 1800s. You don't need that. And you know you don't need that. You just want to go back to the space to go and harass them. This is unhealthy closure. So you need to be clear of what the difference is and stop yourself when you're acting all insane, okay? It doesn't do you any 
justice and it doesn't make your relationship come back together if that's what you're looking for. And also you don't have to address every situation. Sometimes when you break up, the partner wants to know, oh, and remember two years ago that time when you were making those jokes about me at the barbecue and everybody was laughing and I was sad. I want to know why you did that. Who cares why they did that? <laughs> you don't need to, you don't have to address every single situation. You're breaking up the general reason why we're breaking up. We broken up because we're incompatible, point blank, done. And now we're going to try our best to move on with our lives separate from each other. I wish you the best. I wish you the best. Au revoir. You know what I mean? You cannot just be going over every single fine detail, nitpicking, nin, 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 nin. nothing good will come of that. Okay, guys, take it from Taj if you don't take it from anywhere else. And like, for instance, I have a female client of mine and she had a breakup and she is consistently always wanting to go over very fine details of her relationship. And it is my job to negotiate with her ex. Like, is he willing to speak to her about this, willing to speak to her about that? So then I finally had to say to her, listen here, ma'am. Okay. All of these little things that you want to talk about are complete nonsense. Trust me, guys, like at one point, she wanted to speak to him about how come when she had dyed her hair a certain color many years ago, then a family member of his also dyed their hair that color. And she wants to know why he didn't find that that was strange and that she's trying to be like her. And I'm like, OK, none of that matters. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I am not going to facilitate you calling, calling this man like this. You need to get over this and move on with your life because. You don't have to address every single situation and neither do you, okay guys? And you need to take some time to revisit, relearn who you were before your relationship. Because we kind of take on a different personality when we're in a relationship, not a completely different one. Do you guys know what I mean? We have different aspects of our character. Like, you know, you're a little bit cleaner, you're a little bit nicer, you're a little bit more into the things that your partner is into. You're a little bit more willing to do things that your partner likes. Maybe those things are not of any interest to you whatsoever before. And now you've been in a relationship so long that you're extreme pro skateboarder and you had never been on a set of wheels before in your life. That wasn't your thing. Before that, you were a chef. So now you have the opportunity to take some time to revisit who was I before I was part of this pair, you know? What was I into before I was into her? You know, what did I like to do before I liked to do him? <laughs> you know, so you got to figure out who was I before all of this? Who was I before the relationship? Take the time that you need because you are going to need it and dwell into your personality, dwell into who you once were, what you once did, what you once enjoyed, what you once used to like to do, and you will find that you're missing your partner and the relationship less and less, the more you encourage yourself to be your true authentic self, okay guys? So take the time, revisit, relearn, who you were before the relationship and more, you know, we gotta talk about the self-care, love thyself, now that you're broken up and you're part of a single, you're no longer part of a pair, you have a lot of time for self-care. <laughs> so you've got to love yourself, love up on yourself. Whatever you love to do, you go do that ish. You know, you want to get your, your hairs done, your nails done, you go do that. You want to go buy yourself a new car, guys, you go do that. You want to just go hang out with the friends and drink all day and nobody's here to harass you, to tell you to put on clothes or whatever, you do that because you just need to be focused in on yourself, self-care, self-love. Eat your ice cream, eat your pizzas. You know what I mean, guys? Get all dolled up, get all freshed up. You know, go downtown, let some people whistle at you, get some cat calls, you know, that kind of stuff. Just complete self-care. Close in on yourself, you know, and make sure everything that you ever wanted to do from head to toe is done. You have the time now, you're single. And then you need to focus on other areas of your life. Sometimes when we're in a relationship, we kind of get wrapped up in this whole, I'm part of a pair, I'm part of a duo. It's me and her, it's me and him. Like we go in, we bought that life. You know, you're, you're forgetting about everything else in your life. You're not necessarily forgetting, but it's getting less attention. Things such as your career, right? So maybe you're not where you need to be career-wise, or maybe you want to start a business, or maybe you want to do something, get a little extra cash on the side, or maybe you have a business and your business hasn't been doing so well, or maybe it's time for a job switch or whatever. A lot of times it is your relationship has kind of taken your attention away from developing certain aspects of your life. So now that you're single, get to it. Become that 
boss that you were meant to be, you know? Let us see you flossing. Let's see you shining. Your family, sometimes our family get a little bit neglected and not the family we build, but the family we were born with. You know, the parents, remember them? <laughs> Siblings, remember those guys? You know, cousins, whatever, children even. Like sometimes they kind of go on the wayside while we're all loved up and booed up. And now that you're no longer booed up, you can go crawling back to your family. Hi, guys. And it's been a while, but I still love y'all. When you get the love from them, you get good feelings from them, or you get ragged about how you weren't there, whatever, whatever happens. But nonetheless, now it's time to focus on other areas of your life. So career, family, and next, your hobbies. You guys have hobbies? What are your hobbies? If you have any hobbies, put them in the comments. Chime in below. Let's hear what they are, okay? And let's hear what is it that you like to do. Or if you're currently in a relationship, maybe tell us something that you used to do that you no longer seem to have the time to do anymore, okay? Whether you're broken up or not, it could still attain to you. So your career, your family, your hobbies, these are things that definitely need looking into. Then you need to establish ground rules with your ex in order for them to stay your ex, if that's what you guys both want, right? So like no calls after 7 p.m. maybe could be a ground rule, you know, or no liking and putting comments like with the tongue on my photos on social media. Maybe that could be a ground rule. Like, you know what I mean? No coming like to my house unannounced because we are no longer together. So I know it's painful and it's hard and nobody really wants to do it, but you're going to have to establish some ground rules with your ex-partner in order for you to fully move forward completely. Like I know ex, a couple, they are broken up and the man eats at her house every day. She brings him dinner all the time. Okay. Like she even goes to do stuff for him at his workplace. Like it's crazy. So I'm just like, well, are you guys broken up or not? It seems to me by all aspects that you're doing everything that a relationship entails except that he seems to be able to not have the relationship banner over his head, but you seem to. Come on, you need to establish some ground rules. Tell that guy you're gonna have to feed yourself from now on. You're gonna have to do this, that, and whatever else that I used to do for you on your own. Same thing for the ladies, guys. You know, don't let her come up, oh, I need this bill, Kate, honey. Remember you used to do this for me? Remember that, remember that? Just tell her, remember when we were together? Right, because it's not happening anymore. Done, like move on with your life, and these are the ground rules. I'm no longer able to support you in this way way or that way because I'm looking for a new honey to support, right? <laughs> I mean, some of you guys will get physically assaulted if you ever told your ex that. So you don't mind who you tell that to. <laughs> so then you need to accept that you may need a new circle of friends and hangout spots. Because I'm going to say that, listen here, you were not born with these people. You didn't come out of the womb with them. You were friends together because you were in a relationship with somebody who was friends with them, right? Now that you're broken up, there's nothing wrong with finding a new group of friends. Why should you continue to be tortured around the same friends? Now your partner has a new, you know, a new man. Here she is parading with the new man at your normal Friday friends barbecue circle. And here you are single and you have to put up with that. Why? Because of what? Because these are your friends? That's just fleeting, guys. You may have to accept in your heart that I need new places to hang out. I need to go new different places now. I can't just be hanging around on the same place anymore because it's just not good for me in moving forward, okay? Then you need to focus on your value and your self-worth. What are you worth to yourself? What is your individual value, right, guys? And you... I can't tell you what that is. I can't tell you where to go look. I mean, maybe within your talents, maybe between your uses that you have, like, you know, to people, the people in your life that need you, that love you, you know, look forward to hanging with you, that sort of thing. But regardless of what it is or what it takes or what you need to do that, you need to find a way to focus on your own value and focus on your own self-worth. And then you need to get even you need to get even flyer listen to me very carefully guys you need to get even flyer than you were before even finer than you were before even more beautiful more sexy more hot more everything desirable 
<laughs> than you were before. It actually helps you to feel even better about yourself after a breakup. And then you kind of like the idea that you shouldn't be looking moppy and dropy and <laughs> like the world is over after a breakup. As absolutely not. You need to be looking like, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, and I'm ready to play, that type of thing. You need to be looking good. You need to be looking great. You need to be taking full pride in yourself, okay? Because if you want to stunt on the X, how are you supposed to do that when you look mashed down and pop down? They can obviously know you could be stunting with your words and your social media posts, but they know by your looks that, man, you're not doing well at all, you know? So, Get flyer, get more sexy, get more beautiful, get more handsome, grow a beard, like whatever, guys. But definitely, okay, oh, yeah, you should never look like the troubles that you are going through. Absolutely not. No, you should be looking fly, and nobody, especially the ex, should be able to see on your face and on your features the troubles that you are feeling and going through at night and in the daytime. Okay, guys? So remember Taj say, got sexy, get fly after the breakup. And notice, guys, near the end of the things going through a breakup, notice that I didn't say, are you listening? Notice that I didn't say jump right into another relationship. Absolutely not. You do not need to get over one person by finding somebody else. A lot of people come to me and actually say to me, Taj, the only way I'm able to get over a person is if I find somebody else to be with. No, 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 no. Because that means that you still have feelings for the ex. You don't need to, the person, look, true love requires your full attention. True love requires 100%. It cannot be true love if you're half foot in, half foot out. It's not real. You understand? And we should always be seeking something real, especially if it's sharing our lives, sharing our bodies, you know, sharing our hearts and our minds with somebody else. That somebody better be real. Okay, guys, don't you guys agree? Yeah. If you guys have any of your own suggestions as to what you can do to get over a breakup, to survive a breakup, if you liked my tips, you want to add to them, definitely do that here in the comment section. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you always know when the love connection is up and running. Okay, guys? And for those who strictly watch us on our other platforms, Rush over to our YouTube channel because we have a whole bunch of extras, extra dear Taj's, new shows, a lot of lovely things for each and every one of you to enjoy. And talking about enjoying, I am so enjoying this set because for those who don't know, purple is my favorite color. And PRF events is always doing their thing. So if you have a baby shower, wedding, birthday, any event, you just want to show off with your girlfriends, holler at them. Let them come and make you look like a million dollars like they always do for me. And how can you find them on any of the social media pages at prfevents.com. Guys like this top? springtime well actually summertime is in the air i love it it's beautiful and i got it from missico boutique so if you like this and you want to be looking like a missico doll too then you go on missico boutiques any of their social media pages instagram twitter and on facebook and that's m-a-s-e-g-o boutique all right guys I'm just here to get a little more sip. So that was basically my tips, my ideas, my thoughts on how best you can survive a breakup. These are the things that I typically tell people. So I am, these are the things that I typically tell people. So I hope that they were of a benefit to you. Okay, guys. And um, another thing. Oh, well, enough of the other thing because you know whenever you hear that bell, you know what that means, that it is time for the match of the week. And what is the match of the week? So every week, a potential husband or wife will be featured. And if they sound like the person of your dreams, then you contact me. You can go on www.theloveconnection.ca and I will hook you up. So here we go. Shall we start our men or shall we start with females? Oh, we are going to start with men. Lucky day for you, men. Each and every one of you should go and try your best to play a sport that you used to play before. <laughs> so here we go. So men, match of the week. 
He is a 23-year-old traditional Indian man. Indian girls, listen up because he is looking for you. He seeks a traditional Indian wife, who is ba- and he is based in BC, Canada. And he is looking to import a wife if need be. If she's local, all the better. He is tall, self-employed, with, po- with, uh, with a popular drive service. Okay, so he's self-employed with a popular drive service. That's what he does for a living. He's kind, he's quiet, he's proud, and he seeks a woman who will understand him. He doesn't have too many particularities. He just cares that she herself should be a traditional Indian woman to match him in his lifestyle desires. Nice one, huh? Next, we have female, guys. Men, listen up. She is a 57-year-old Jamaican and Dominican. She is cheerful, positive, beautiful, smart, funny, and she seeks a man who is 22 to 30 years old. She says the older guys ain't got nothing to turn her crank, so she's looking for a young bunny to have on her arms, and she wants you to enjoy outings, parties, dancing, and you should also be looking to settle down. She is based in the UK, England, and she doesn't mind importing a man. So, you young bucks out there, if you want to get saucy with this lady, then definitely contact me and I will suss you out. So that was it for the match of the week, guys. Now it is time for our Dear Taj moment. And what is our Dear Taj moment? If you have a love or relationship question, you send it in to me and they go directly to me. No worries. I answer every single one. And if you would like me to answer them on air, then you write answer on air when you send it in. So here we go. I try my best to answer each one. Dear Taj, I like this girl. We have sex all the time. Mostly when she calls me. I do stuff for her all the time. She's really nice and makes me happy. But she says we're not together. What do I do? Help Taj. Signed, Lucas. Well, Lucas, what do you do? You stop doing all that stuff. Like, she ain't, she don't want you. And she's just using you. She's using you for what? Sex? She's using you to do these stuff for her? But she doesn't want to be with you. And you've made your feelings clear to her. And yet she's okay and comfortable with continuing to make you do all these things. So let me tell you something between you and I, Lucas, and other women will know what I'm talking about. If we don't like you in that way, like to be in a relationship with you, but you are a friend of ours and you like continuously are around us and doing stuff for us and all that jazz, the moment you come out and tell us that you want a relationship, these things will start fizzling out. Yeah, because we don't want a relationship with you. And we don't want to lead you on. And we don't want that little sad puppy dog look that you guys have when people don't want you. We don't want that around us. So therefore, we start avoiding you. We stop calling you to fix whatever you were fixing before. Well, even if we can, you know, if we can manage, we'll stop having sex with you too. Because we don't want to continue, like, giving you the wrong idea. You understand? But if a woman continues to do that, using you and all of that, even though she knows that you're in love with her, it's because she's comfortable with using you and she doesn't care about your feelings. So as nice as you say she is, Lucas, she's not nice to you, right? And as happy as she makes you, that happiness is false and it's fleeting because it's not real. It's not based on anything real. Okay, Lucas, so my advice to you is to go back on my website because you sent in this question on the website. So go back on my website and go on my matchmaking service page and let me hook you up with somebody who will love you for the guy that you are, Lucas. Your wife is probably, your future wife is probably watching the show right now and she will be happily, she will happily receive the sex and the good stuff that you're doing and all this lovely stuff that you're doing for this woman. So point blank, basically, You need to let this go. You need to accept that she doesn't want you. You're not going to be able to convince her to want you. And the longer you play along with this, the longer you are going to be used. So that is that. And I hope that helped, Lucas. And if it didn't help, then just write me back and we will continue to talk. But hopefully I hear back from you when you're looking for a wife. (laughs) So that's that, guys. So now it is time for the Miss Connections. And you know it is time for the Miss Connection when you hear... It's me you're looking for. 
Love that. So this one is out of Haiti. Shout out to Haiti. I didn't even know we had Haitian fans. What's going on, guys? We love each and every one of you. So here it goes. And what is a misconnection, guys? So if you see somebody for a brief moment, you didn't get their contact information, but you are sure that this is the love of your life, you get at me and I will try my best to find them. And like I always said, I have already found one. So bet on me. <laughs> Here we go. So you were on the bus with your mom. I was touching your shoulder. Well, you're bold. <laughs> you smiled. You wrote your number on the window after I blew a kiss. But I didn't understand the number or the kiss, my friend. I guess the number. I'm the guy of your dreams. Whoa. <laughs> And you are short, black, with curly hair. You're beautiful, and your smile is amazing. Your mother was wearing green. You guys had two buckets. You are sellers, and I like you. All right, so Haiti, Haitian girl who was on the bus with your mummy, and you were bold enough to be writing number on the window with your mom right there and the guy in the back touching your shoulder. This guy wants to be your husband and he believes that you are the man for him. So apparently you and your mom are sellers. So we're looking for two sellers. Out of, well, we're only looking for one, but we're looking for a mother daughter selling duo in Haiti. The girl is black with curly hair. Oh, this seems like a deep hill, steep hill we're about to climb trying to find this girl. But no worries, my friend. I will try my best. So if anybody knows this lady, please get at me so I can connect these two star cross lovers. And that is that, guys, for the misconnection. So now it is time for our lover shout outs. And what are our lover shout outs? You want to shout out your lover. You want to let them know how special they are to you, how beautiful they are to you, whatever. And then you write to me and I will do that. And if you want me to do a special lover shout out, then you talk to me nice and I will deliver because I'm about to deliver a special lover shout out right now because I usually do two every week, but when it's special, I only do one. So here we go. This one is from Paulo. Cecilia. You are the most wonderful woman. You're smart, funny, and very pretty. You make me so happy. Every day is a good day because of you. I want to be with you forever. We'll be strong through everything. I could never, ever, ever imagine my life without you. You are my first thought every morning and my last one before I go to bed. My every prayer is filled with your name. I constantly ask God to preserve your life and make you more and more great each day because I know the greater you are, the greater I will be. I want you to forever find love in me because I love you, Cecilia, today, yesterday, and more and more even tomorrow. Oof. Well, Paulo, hoo, hoo, hoo. wasn't that very lovely? So you see, guys, this is how you do a special lover shout out. Because a love isn't real if you were not shouted out on the love connection stage. <laughs> so that is that, guys. So remember, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, if you have not been watching the Taj B show, because you know, I got two shows. One host, two shows. And the Taj B show is awesome. So tune in. So you can find out all that I have to say on a general talk show. Okay, and how can you find us? You go on YouTube and you go the love connection with Taj B because there are many love connections, but there is only one Taj and that's me. So before I go, I'm going to leave you with Taj's thought of the day. And here it goes. Your ex is called your ex because they are an example of what you should not have back again in your life. So guys, and the song today is Busy Signal, Hang got a Friday because it's Friday today and thank God because you got to watch my show. Ooh, I love you guys. Mwah. Have a good one and have a wonderful weekend. All of you going to Afrofest, beat some drums, shake some chicken, all that stuff, eat some chicken, all for me. <laughs> my track remember prf events guys and miss seagull boutique share up